Hi, my name is Mayhemstar, and welcome to the day I'm harvesting you. Money is tight. It's always been tight. My grandma is slouching over a receipt wearing her glasses, magnifying glass in hand. She who always talks about class and sitting upright. She who berates me about how I'll never find a man who'll love me because of my over-reliance on her. My grandpa washes and puts away the dishes for me while I stare into space. He with his rough wrinkled hands, rough from detergent, fixing cars, dyeing his hair without gloves, wrinkled from worrying about me, my happiness, my fulfillment. They do anything for me, their precious granddaughter. And I know that. But I don't want them to live in poverty. I don't want them to worry about whether or not I'll ever be loved. I want them to be happy. I want happiness. That's all I've ever wanted in life. And I'd do anything to get it. Anything? Hey, back for more? More of you? Yeah, what? Oh, mouse, okay. Okay. I could just feel that you missed me, so I'll come back to visit you. Sure. How are you going to go about this today? I think I'm going to go on a date with one of those guys from before. Are we starting in Media's Res? Okay. Be careful out there, kiddo. Oh, you worried about me. See you soon. Gideon? Yep, that's me. And how lucky was I to score a date with a girl like you? Am I a girl? I am a girl. I am a... What? I'm a granddaughter. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, this is Fujoshi bait. Is this Fujoshi bait? No, is that the word? Well, today it is. Pretty lucky. Maybe if you do well, I'll leave my next date stranded in the cold. I guess I shouldn't do too well then, huh? Oh, look at you and your big heart. Disgusting. That deserves at least two points. Can I not have any other options? You're only giving me one. This uh, 10 point scale. How do I get nine points? Well, you collect it. I want to score higher than the other guys you're going to hit out with. But I want to score just below the perfect score so that they don't wait in the cold and you go see them. Hmm? What? And you go see them. But I... Oh, okay, I want to score just below the perfect score so that they don't wait in the cold and you go see them. Just to reaffirm that I'm the one for you. Hmm, wow, wow. Introduce yourself to me. Sell yourself to me. We just met, you don't e know if you even like me yet. There you go. No, but it'll be good for my ego if I don't. And if I do, you'll be my forever. Wow, you're an all-in type of guy, huh? Well, I'm the type of guy that dips my pinky toe in the pond for hours before I cannonball in. So your pinky toe becomes shriveled and disgusting and all mangly? Alright. What about you? What type of girl are you? What do you mean we're really not sure? I'm a guy. <laughs> okay. Oh. That's right. It's a fan boy. <laughs> Okay, hold on. I think I'm the type that's dating because I crave a mundane, happy life. Yeah, huh, so what are you looking for on this date? Yeah, what are you looking for on this date? I think I just don't want to be lonely anymore. Why? I'd like to have a connection with someone. What, uh, what do you, what? I'd like to have a connection with someone. What do you mean? Oh, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I feel lonely no matter who I'm with. Sorry to hear that. I don't want to trust anyone or rely on anyone. It just feels... Whenever I start to rely on someone, it just feels like they run away. I don't know, maybe it's because you're too, like... Non-self-sufficient? Question <laughs> mark? Okay. I don't know, if everything is bound to fall apart, isn't it better to rely on yourself? If you don't want to get hurt, sure. Life is full of breakups and falling out but it's also full of new meetings and connections. We're all gonna die anyways, somehow, someday. We're gonna have time alone. 
And if it doesn't work, then it doesn't. That's life. I like talking to you. I don't. And maybe we'll never talk again. Bet. That's life. Wow, so hot, so sexy. Shut up. Do we have to? Alright, let's do it. Ah, <laughs> very funny. Todd, so? So what? Why are you even looking for a relationship? I want to celebrate holidays around a big round table with family and friends. Imagine the cleanup afterwards. I'm kidding. Celebrate your holidays. I see. I want to get married before my grandparents die so they don't have to worry. Yeah. I want happiness. A whole lake of it. Why, why do you want to settle for a lake? Why not an ocean? Why not the entire world? Maybe I just want to... What? Maybe I'd want to drink it all up instead of getting in. What? Maybe I'd... What? What is this? Some sort of cocktail? Some kind of allusion to cannibalism? Maybe I want to drink it all up instead of getting in. Hot. It is an allusion to... Alright, so he's the drink and we want to drink him up. That's absolutely disgusting. But... If cannibalism is the truest form of love, then cannibalism it is. Hot? Like hot cocoa? Yeah. How many points does that get me to? Ah, uh, maybe five. That's it? Yeah, you get 50%. Well, I feel like you've scored pretty high, like a nine. Date? Wow, you're so funny and charming. Harvest? Harvest? Definitely scored a perfect 10 in my book. Uh oh. You're really cute, you know that. <laughs> yes. And you know what's even cuter? Your insides. I want your organs. I want your bones. To make a hearty meal out of it. To make a hearty soup. I need your bones though. Giggle. <laughs> yeah, it's why you're still here. Weirdo. I like weird girls. Yeah? I can be sort of scary too. What's there to be scared of? My meat cleaver, baby! I'm the one who doesn't want to be alone, remember? There's just more than that to be scared of. Oh yeah, what you're looking at is a bona fide male. I just pretend to be female. Can't go around being scared of getting hurt, can I? No, but you should. Hmm. I'm gonna go piss. Meet me in the back after you're done paying. You got it, Chief. Goodbye, Gid Gid Gideon. Whoa, so not cool, bro. Bro? Oh, he found out I'm a man, I guess. Alright, heart. All done. Phenomenal work on our part. What do I have to do? Alright, let's open him up. So, uh, there we go. Perfect. You need a certain tool for this. Oh, okay. I put this down. Pick this up. Is that the one? No, no. Hold on. We need to break the ribs. That's right. Uh, we need to keep it, right? Yeah, we need his bones for soup. Okay. Put this down. We need the forceps to take his heart. Uh, keep it. We just keep all of his organs, right? That's the correct answer. All done. Are you sure? Yes. How was your harvest? I got your heart. Ha, huh, get it? Because I got you a heart, but also, I'm flirting with you? Give me the bag. You got it, boss. Here's your pay, kiddo. That's it? Boo, you're no fun. Not here to be fun. Then, are you here for me? What? Are you here for me? Moving on. You know they say the quickest way to a man's heart is through his stomach. I cook. What? I cook organs. I cook awful. I make... R I cook really well. I can make spring rolls and seafood pancakes. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, you're gonna fall in love with my cooking. Yeah, want me to make them for you next time. This one. And 
me. Bye. Hmm? Why is there suddenly someone else without any kind of introduction? Oh, whatever. Jun? It's nice to meet you. Should I give them all different voices? Um... Nah. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll give this guy a higher voice, maybe. This table is nice. Your face is nice. P wow, uh, okay. Uh. I was googling date openers on my way here. They sit to, uh, state the obvious. It's more fun that way. Jeez, you're really bold. You'd make such a good dungeon master. Uh, uh, dungeon master. We got ourselves masochist boys and girls. Yeah, you want me to be your dungeon master? Mm-hmm. Uh, what? Do you play D and D? Whisper's back. No, I don't. Sorry, Whisper's back. Yeah, is playing D and D supposed to be some big bad secret? I've seen people play D and D. I have never played it myself, honestly. No, it's just I was told that the rules to dating was not to talk about D and D. By who? My friends. Oh, gasp! Including your dungeon master? Admittedly, yes. Well, you're in my dungeon right now. I make the rules. What's your character like? Uh, my character? What kind of guy do you want to be in a relationship? Oh. Ideally, I'd like to be a supportive boyfriend. Someone who's always there for you. Someone who is reliable enough to lift a burden off your shoulders. What kind of relationship does your character want? I, I want a relationship where we can do things together. Cook together. Eat together. Play D&D &D together. Do the ordinary things in life together. I like that. That's what I want in a relationship too. Yes, that's what we want. We want to cook together, I'll cook you. We want to eat together, I'll eat you. And then we can play D&D &D with your bones. You're so cute. It doesn't make sense that you don't already have that. Romance isn't something that makes sense. Even if I have high stats and charisma, I can still roll a 1. And then poof, nothing. I understand. So what's your character backstory? I grew up poor, but I was a huge nerd growing up and I landed a big programming job right out of university. Oh, so does that mean you can take care of me? I, I wouldn't be out on a date if I didn't think that I could take care of the girl that I'm dating. Well, I think you rolled a crit on coolness. Y you think so? I know so. Because we created this dungeon, you have walked into my trap. You will be on my dinner table tonight. Splayed open, or flayed open, and like, cut up, and not breathing. What's your character end goal? How does your character know when he's fallen for someone? What's your character end goal? Uh, how's your- Yep, this one, fallen for someone. Oh jeez, it feels like the world shifts when I fall for someone. They're on my mind 24-7. When I head out on the drive, I think about putting their favorite song on. When I go to the grocery store, I think of their favorite food and drinks, and if I should get anything for them. When I just go about my day, I want to leave my phone off silent so I can make sure that I can pick up their call or answer any text when they need me. How do you know when you've fallen for someone? I appreciate every little thing they do for me. I can see them doing something dumb, like falling over and still consider it charming. I want to hang out with them and see them a lot. S so, do you want to hang out with me again? Oh, yeah, but I need the money, you see. Honey... Don't take it personally. I'd love to see you again. Yeah, out back. That'd be the last time you see me anyway. Uh, I'm gonna go to the ladies room and put on my, uh, my gown and everything so I don't get blood all over my clothes. Meet me in the back of the cafe after you're done paying. Anything for you. What? Okay, hold on, wait a minute. He's the guy that pays, but we're the one that harvests him. So we do this for free, essentially. Let's assume that we are a really good looking individual. We're literally exploiting these people to get them to buy us coffee. And then we kill them. And then we make money from them. <laughs> oh, uh, is that you? Uh, looks like I rolled a one for plot armor, huh? That's a great way to go out, huh? The 
famous last words. Rolled one for plant armor. Hmm, more like charisma. Dang it. Oh, ouch. Ooh, that stings. One for charisma. Damn. Heart and stomach. All right, here we go. All right, let's open them up. Perfect. All right. Break that. Keep it. We want his bones for later. We need this for his heart. We need that. And we need his stomach. Keep it. That should be it. Uh, hold on, what's that? Why don't we just harvest everything? We're taking everything with us, boys. That's his pancreas, I think. Wait, that's not his stomach, is it? I, I actually don't know. That might be his kidney. We can't take his intestine because it's too long. Alright, fine. So, that's everything we've taken from him. We can take more than one interesting. Okay, all done. Are you sure? Yes. We've taken everything. Just take everything. Whatever, man. Back after your string bean bookworm. Yep. So. Oh, first I made you a seafood pancake. Oh, this looks good. Thank you. Mm-hmm. It's so good, your tote's gonna fall for me. Huh. Huh? Oh, I thought that was a joke. What? I'm so serious about that. No right, you kiddo. So how's your harvest? I got you a stomach and a heart. Now, can you give me yours? I'd rather not die. Not in that way. Here's your payment. Boo. Come on, play along. People who play along with you die. You know I wouldn't kill you. Here's your payment. Ready for your next harvest. Yep, my name is Dante. He's a criminal. Be careful. If you care for me so much, you should just come with me. No thanks. Boo. See you. Uh, what voice should I give you? Ugh. Ugh. Hey, Miss Popular. Hey, Miss Popular. Hey, Miss Popular. Hey, Miss Popular. Popular. Hmm, I've been sitting around and waiting for my chance to be with you. Hmm, I doubt that. Yeah, why? You just don't seem like the type to wait around for someone else. So no, you look like a bit of a liar. I don't know, man. The number of whole- <laughs> The number of piercings you have in your ears can literally make up for a whole new ear holes. Then though you look a bit like a liar. Harsh. I'm a good judge of people. Yeah, we can judge the insides and the outsides. Then you know I'm already head over heels for you. There you go. Lying again. Hm. Tough crowd. I like that. Too bad I don't like you. That'll change. In time. So brazen. Brazen? Brazen. Have you gotten away with saying these things before? Um, look at me. Look at what I look like. You look like a piece of shit. That's what you look like. And you need to not color your fingernails black. Consider that. No one's gonna care what I say as long as they can look. Well, maybe not right now. I was running away from some cops today and landed myself in the trash bin. Better question, how does the cops not recognize your goofy ass look, your bloody ass Santa Paws thing, long ass mullet, and you've got yourself, <laughs> you've got yourself piercings all over you. There is no way you could have escaped the cops looking like this. No way. I was running away from some cops today and I landed myself in the trash bin from a smell like shit. And I saw you on another date. Oh, stalker. You're running away from the cops. Oh, stalker. And I was just in the area. Scouting before our date. Oh, you wanted to meet earlier, huh? Of course. Am I that interesting to you? Dunno, you seem a bit crazy. That's right. Uh, no, no, we're not crazy, we're just crazy for someone else. The dude in the cat suit that looks like Batman if he didn't have a lot of money. Me, why? Yeah, I'm sure you'd like the thrill. Don't you think I have enough thrill in my face? I don't know, it just seems like you're looking for more. Yeah? And how are you gonna be more than thrills for me? I can't give up all my secrets right away. Mysterious. Love it. I don't. Such a flirt. You love it. 
and I'd love to see what a little thing like you could do to me. No, ah, you don't. Want me to ruin your life? Was that not in my dating profile? Of course. So, thoughts on me? I don't know anything about you. Yeah, but you don't really need to, right? You're attracted to me. No, we're not. We can have fun with that. I can tell you want to. Your ego sure is something, and if I do, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. You'll be relaxed, and you won't even feel it. You'll be dead in an instant. And if I do, let's have some fun, babe, tonight. No need to drag this out any longer. I want to continue this tonight, can we? I'm not sure, can we? So desperate you want me that bad. Eh, we want your organs. I'm not sure, can we? Pay for me and meet me in the back and find out, yeah? Of course, I got you. Not gonna run away from you, girl. Oh, you better run far. You better run far, you better run wide. You better run quick, I'm telling you why. Wait, Hemstar's on the rampage tonight. Oh shit, I knew you were too good to be true. You should back up, I'll, I'll probably slice your head off. We're just better, we just are. Okay, perfect. We are the femboy killers, okay. Uh, I'm keeping your ribs because I need that for soup. Uh, put that down, I need your heart. Keep it. In fact, I'm gonna keep all your organs. Keep it. Mm-hmm. And your stomach. I want your... That. I want that too. Can I take anything else worthwhile? I'll steal your jewelry. Nope, okay, all done. Are you sure? Yep. You look so smitten with that boy. Must have been knacked since he killed him. What if I just liked him so much that I needed him to be mine? <laughs> just make sure you keep bringing me these. I'll always pay for what I ask. You got it, boss. I'm not gonna ditch the best prices in town. Good job, kiddo. You did well. You got all three, didn't you? Yep. Were you even interested in dating? Bigger question. Is this all a setup? Are we just gonna get used and tossed aside once we finish delivering all of his needs? Wants, really? Yeah, they just didn't catch my eye. Nobody seems to catch her eye. That's not true. Do I get a bonus point for getting them all? Come here. Huh? Huh? I'll see you tomorrow. What? Okay, so that's one ending. So what did we do? We harvested all of them. And I kept all of their organs. Alright, let's date. Damn, all that and you still want to see other men? Hot. Yeah, I figured you'd say that. When will I see you again? When I call you. Can I kiss you before I go? I don't know, can you? Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh no. You just kissed a dude. We didn't dabs you. Gideon dabs you up after your kiss. And that's what I'm talking about. How was your harvest? I got a heart, but it's not yours. It's mine. I take it your date went nice? Yeah. That's good. No pay. But I'm happy for you. Thank you. You know, they say the quickest way to a man's heart is through his stomach. I cook. Okay. So we don't get paid. And go. Mm -hmm. Blow out candles and birthdays together. Mm -hmm. To all the silly traditions that I wasn't able to do when I was a kid. Together, that's my end goal. Yeah, that's mine too. So, would you want to hang out with me again? I do. I want to learn how to bake pie next time when we see each other. I love that. What kind of pie did you want to make? I was thinking of banana cream pie. Sounds yummy. We'll go eat before though, and I'll treat you to dessert to go. I don't want you to have an empty stomach if I mess up. You mean if we mess up? Not on your own, dummy. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, I guess not. Definitely not. I relate to that guy a little too much. That's definitely me. Damn it. Ah, I can't believe I'm being called out. Huh? What? Oh uh, boy. Oh my god. That, you, you, that was... 
June doesn't mean fist bump. Yeah, that's funny. Back after your string bean bookworm? Yep. Okay, so. Oh, first I made you a seafood pancake. Oh, that looks good. Thank you. Hmm, it's so good your toe's gonna fall for me. Mm hmm. Don't you already have a boy on your roster? Yeah, but I have, you know, so many hands. No thanks. So, how's your harvest? I'm gonna go feed him on our next date. Nice. Actually, getting his heart through his stomach, huh? Ready for your next harvest. Yep, his name is Dante. He's a criminal. Be careful. If you care for me so much, you should come with me. Okay, no thanks. Yep. Okay, boo. Date? Of course I do. Have you spoken to yourself? Actually, have you seen yourself? Fucking hot. Damn right, I am hot. But I'm a man. How are you already so obsessed with me? Doesn't matter. Just be with me. So I can talk to you. And tease you. Uh, uh, gross. And kiss you. Uh, and get... Uh, uh. Fuck yes. Grabs you by the wrist and pulls you in closer for kissing your forehead. Gross. Ugh. Looks so smitten. Gonna take Playboy home to your grams. I like Playboy. Can we keep him alive? Please. I'll just harvest him if anything happens. Only because you're my favorite. Who is this guy anyway? Yes, thank you. I think that was all for today. Gonna go meet up with the boy? Or boys, I have no idea who you are dating now. Yep, I'm off. Have fun. Sometime next week? Yes, sir. Don't call me that. See you. Okay, so how's this gonna work? You see Dante later that night at his ragged apartment. You guys play games together, play fighting throughout the night. He air fries you some chicken nuggets for dinner and kisses your forehead often. Your grandparents both love him very much, even though they think that he can do better financially. I thought he was a criminal. A heister. You see June the next day and he gives you the option of a fancy restaurant or cuddling on the couch with some takeout before making a banana cream pie. You choose the comfy day in, time pauses and June meets your grandparents. Your grandparents call June ugly behind his back and say that he doesn't look good enough to date you but love his personality. Oof. Oof. Shit. Oh no. Okay, I really feel bad for June. I I'ma be perfectly honest. Mano e mano, that's just terrible. Oh no. June, my man. You see Gideon a couple days later and he takes you to a sports bar. You never hear from him after that. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're gonna try killing everyone. Start. But this time we're not gonna give anything to our person, friend, person that we liaise with, whatever. Okay, he's dead. Cool, all done. We're not gonna give anything in. Yes. How's your harvest? This isn't what I asked for. Come on, I tried my best. No organs, no money. So mean. You know the rules. There's always next time. You know, they say the quickest way to a man's heart is through his stomach. I cook. What? I cook really well, makes spring roll okay. Yep, that's no difference. Don't hand anything in? Yes. Yep. So. Made you a seafood pancake? Yep, thank you. The fall for me? Huh. Huh? Was well, a joke? So serious? Yep. How's your harvest? No, this isn't right. No? Really? Really. Can't you just, like, pay me half or something? You know I can't. Okay, so it doesn't matter if we bring in the wrong organs, and it doesn't matter if we don't bring in organs at all. All done. Yes. Looks so smitten, unfortunate. What? You didn't get what I asked for. I so did. You so did not look. Damn it. Yep. Well, it didn't quite get me all I needed today. I tried my best. I know, it's okay. Take a break, we'll try again another day. I don't need a break, I can try to get more. Take one. Fine. Thank you. I'll see you next week. And that's it. Um, so there's only two kind of like real outcomes. Where is, uh, you either date one, and if you date one, you get the date ending. And if you bring all of the organs that is required to the cat person, you get to kiss the cat person, I guess. So, 
that's it for the game. That's it for today I'm harvesting you. It's really just a dating sim. It's just a dating sim with a little bit of morbid harvesting, like cannibalism, something going on here, uh, organ trading going on. There is no deeper story to it that I can think of. I actually want to know more about the dynamic between the main character and our organ harvesting trader person who wears all black and wears glasses, which is more interesting than the rest of this story or the rest of the other male characters are. I want to know who that person is in that cat suit, essentially. Um, without further to say, you know, it's not scary, it's not crazy, it's just weird on the edges. My name is Mayhem Star, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Burr.